Okay, here we go again. People with all the ideas about how to fix Formula One who obviously haven't been watching Formula One for 40 years like me. Oh, let's change the point system. Let's change the point system to make the points closer. Instead of four points from first to second, it'll be two points from first to second. That is not going to change the dynamics of how the teams are functioning. I guess they... Uh, these simplistic fucking answers from people about points and management and things. That's, that's not it. It's not it. If Red Bull wins another constructors championship next year and Max wins another, you know, driver championship next year, I'll start having the same feelings I did when Hamilton was winning every single year. You notice how he's wanking like a little fucking baby now, right? Because it's not him winning all the time. When he was winning all the time, none of the shit he's saying now, he, was, he wasn't he was saying that, okay? They tried money caps. They tried, remember the tire fiasco? Remember that? Um... And now they're back to mandating tire use at Cutter for driver race, whatever fucking reasons they had. Okay, so the track obviously wasn't vetted. Nobody looked to see, okay, can we have drivers running this fast in this many corners in this kind of heat? Right? Nobody looked at that at all. Period. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I see all these reduce the number of Grand Prix. How is that going to help? How is that going to help? Go to 18 instead of 22. How is that going to help? I'm looking at all their ideas. Get rid of sprints. Okay, well, I agree. Let's get rid of sprints. Make cars louder, lighter, and smaller. Oh, okay. Now you're starting to talk in my venue. The sound of a Formula One car 20 years ago. <laughs> Music to the ears of an automotive fan. Don't tell me it isn't. It was That was the sexiest sound in the world, okay? The reason louder, lighter, smaller has any... Why those three things are all in common is that regulation... How many times have I made this video? I don't know, probably too many, but I'm gonna make it again, okay? Regulation. They're, they're not thinking in the right direction, okay? Right now, the big thing is, oh, well, uh, Audi or whatever, we're, we're not gonna sell motors to, to Andretti if they come in. They're gonna have to make their own motor. I've heard a few other teams going, well, Andretti's gonna have to make their own motor if they wanna really be a Formula One team. Hey, fuck all you guys. You guys have all at one time purchased your motors from someone else, okay? Red Bull buying from Honda, and now they're gonna talk shit about Andretti having to build their own motor. It's all bullshit, okay? It's over-regulation. Over-regulation in the wrong direction. First off, I, you get six motors, six engine units for the year. And then you're going to penalize people because they have to change one out and put them on the back of the grid when they should be up in the front. How does that benefit anyone? It doesn't. Every fix they try to do is more regulation on top of more regulation on top of more regulation. That is never going to fix anything. Pretty soon, you're going to have fucking drivers out there in cars that are so identical in every way that it, that why even race them? Okay, That series came and went. It was called IROC. Okay? Where you had the, the same mechanics and the same everybody building all of the cars exactly the same, making them as close as possible to each other. That series came and went. That was a driver's race. And evidently, the public just said, look, we want more than that. And it went away. If it was a format that was going to stick around, we would have IROC races today, which actually, I think, might benefit NASCAR, right? Because that's 
that's become a driver's race. When you got 30 guys running around like they're chained together, right? Might as well have all the cars identical. That's what they're working for now. None of those cars are Fords or Chevys or Toyotas. None of them. They have nothing in common whatsoever with anything that has to do with the manufacturer. Thus the problem with Red Bull. They're headed in the same damn direction. Okay? So this is my point. If, let's say you give that, you know, they're like, oh, it takes $50 million to run this team. Well, let me tell you what I could do with $50 million. I could kick all their asses. If I didn't have to abide by the overly restricted and short-minded regulations that the FIA has come up with in Formula One, um, they could have as many motors as they wanted. There goes the largest cost gone. Carbon fiber is carbon fiber. Okay, now we're talking about the mental aspect of each team. Who has the best brain trust? Okay, and instead of, uh, you know, who can micrometer the fucking piston the best? Because that's what it comes down to. Why, the, why it's a $50,000 piston. It's not a $50,000 piston. It's not made of unobtainium, okay? You can buy a crate motor, for one hundredth the cost of a Formula One motor with three to four times the fucking horsepower. <laughs> right? And if you're going to run that for one race, any of those motors could do 50 laps, beating the holy snot out of it. They, you know, all the, all the, you know, we, <laughs> LT motors are very, very, you know, reliable. Um, you could have 2,000 horsepower Formula One car go out there and run two races, when the motor started to show signs of uh, fatigue, you simply pull it out and throw another fucking crate motor in there. A $50,000 motor, not a, not a $5 million motor, okay? A $50,000 motor. Tire manufacturers, no competition, no interest. If every fucking car is gonna have Pirellis on it, there's no interest. I could give a shit how many times you got to change tires or not change tires, okay? If everybody's running the exact same tire for the exact same reason, what does that give the fans? I'd love to see Bridgestone on some cars, Pirelli's on some cars, Goodyear's maybe even on some cars, right? I'd like to see five or six different tire manufacturers vying for that podium, so the tire manufacturers could get in a little bit. I don't see Pirelli signs with Pirelli champagne parties going on because there's no sense. There's no meaning to it. But if you had different tire manufacturers vying for that constructor's championship for tires, it would make everything much more interesting. Okay? I understand why they got rid of refueling. But then that makes uh, refueling not part of racing. And I can tell you, refueling has always been a part of racing. Always. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna have cars that never need refueling, yes, it's going to be safer. Uh, but that is the place where you use regulation to make everybody safe, okay? The design of the cars, um, well, you can only have this much wind tunnel time. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Yep, you can only use the wind tunnel this much of the time and then you're done. What? <laughs> that was the stupidest damn thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Jesus. Nope, you can't practice either. Nope, and you can't develop. Nope, 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 nope. It's, it's just, you know, formula, I mean, I... They're fucking themselves bad. And they're going to continue to do that. And what's going to happen is, for these five years, it'll be this team. And for the next five years, it'll be this team. And for the next five years, it'll be this team. And what we're talking about is 15 fucking years and only having three teams on the podium in first place. One of the best things to happen is seeing Pastry, right, on the podium two races in a row. Watching McLaren catching up, okay? Um, that made it fun. Now, just think if 
Every team on the grid had a chance to win on any day. What would happen? What would what would Formula One be like? So, yeah, I see them. God, they're just... 1.6 liter V6. Fuck that. I want the V12s back. Or like I said, you know, let everybody put, uh, you know, big Chevy V8s in their cars that they could just dispose of whenever they... I can tell you right now that fans would be there lined up to buy that motor when it came out of the car. There wouldn't be any waste. Fans would be lined up to buy those LT motors. Okay, well, we're changing our motor uh, from from qualifying today to the race tomorrow. There would be somebody that are to buy that qualifying motor. See? No waste. I don't know. I don't know. Um, there are so many, there are so many things. Regulation should be reserved for safety. Safety, safety, safety. Let's keep our drivers safe. I was a big fan of the Halo. I was a big fan of the Haas device when everyone else was like, well, they can't see. They can't see. And I'm like, well, they can't see much anyway. Okay, their fucking eyes are like this over the car. They know what they're doing. This is why they get the big bucks. They're the best drivers in the world. Trust me, they'll get used to having that bar there. They already have. Drivers say, yeah, I don't even notice it anymore. Ah. I don't know. Every the, the more every time I see a Formula One article, it it makes me it makes me have a feeling of nostalgia for thirty years ago when you would have five cars come around the corner and every single one of them was different, different to the point where you knew that was a Williams, you knew that was a Ferrari, just by the looking at the car. Nowadays, the way you tell is how they have them painted. Yeah. Opinion, an old school solution to a modern F1 problem. No, listen, adding more points isn't going to fix the grid. Changing the way points are designated is not going to fix the grid. It's not going to fix the competitive problem that we have in Formula One that seems to go in cycles, okay? Five-year cycles. Every, some, so there's a new team that moves in that has something special the other ones don't, okay? This is all from money caps and all that crap. I know what makes a Formula One team best. It's management. Carbon fiber is carbon fiber, okay? There's... Uh, they're made of aluminum. They're not made of, you know, the, the, you don't have titanium motor blocks and shit because it would be cost prohibitive, right? So there are reasons for having some regulations in place. Your motor must be made of aluminum. After that, get the fuck out. Get out. I would love to see a team show up with a V12 aluminum motor run the race, determine it wasn't good enough, and come back with a V8 or an inline eight, twin turbo, whatever. Just get the fuck out of Formula One with your regulatory, you know, stubbornness and let racing develop. And then the driver, okay? There are only so many people that can do it. I don't care what anyone says. There are only so many people that can drive an F1 car at those speeds with those, with being able to be ahead of that car that not everyone can do it. I, I think very few NASCAR drivers could jump into a Formula One car and not pass out during the braking at the end of a long straightaway. <laughs> Jeff Gordon said he was browning out when he, he drove a Formula One car at Indy and going into the first corner, he said he was having brown out episodes from braking, okay? So the cars, you know, we have to we have to fix the way the racing is done. We we you can't put more regulations on top of more regulations and expect to make racing more competitive. It gets boring. That's what you do. It gets boring. Look at fucking NASCAR. 
Okay, they have been failing and falling and losing for the last what eight nine years. Oh well, we'll stop the race right in the middle of the fucking race and let everyone else catch up, and that'll make the finishes more exciting. No, you just punished the best teams that showed up that weekend. That's what you did. You punished them. Okay? And then the guy who didn't deserve a fucking break, you gave him a break. I see that happening in Formula One. It's just terrible. So get away from if you don't you won't need a money cap if you just let them loose. Okay? Overregulate safety, underregulate everything else, and Formula One will be fine. Okay, and let's get four or five tire manufacturers, and they're vying for a prize. 